Uh, well, Al, I got all the food out of the refrigerator. <laughs> you know, honey, I think it was real nice of you to take Marcy's advice and hire a woman to fix the refrigerator. I wish I could hire somebody to fill it. <laughs> Dream on, Al. Well, since someone's gonna be doing some work in the kitchen, I, I guess I better go upstairs and rest. <sighs> Well, I'm ready, Mr. Bundy. Me too. <laughs> Let me just check out the wiring. Take your time. <laughs> I'll just be looking over your uh, shoulder. Look at this. Directions on how to clean the oven. Still in its original plastic. <laughs> That's a little woman's. I'll just go and put it up in the attic with her iron. <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, just keep looking. What's the emergency, Al? <laughs> it's in the kitchen. <laughs> you brought me all the way over here just to see that. Uh-huh. Thanks, Al. <laughs> oh, you know, Al, this brings back memories. I saw one of those in college once. I used to jog behind her for hours. I ran a marathon once and didn't even know it. <sighs> you know her name? Yeah, but I'm calling her Heidi. <laughs> you know, Al, I feel kind of like a pig. Standing here, enjoying myself, staring at a poor, unsuspecting woman as if she were nothing but a piece of meat. Look, Al, she's moving. <laughs> yeah, it looks like two little kittens playing gently under some denim. I think it looks more like an apple, Al. What kind of apple, Steve? A little red one. You know how they are just before you pick. <laughs> You're a pig, Al. Oh, hello, Marcy. Well, I gotta go back to the shop and get some more tools. Hurry back. <laughs> this is why you left the PBS pledge drive. <laughs> well, uh, this is something like Masterpiece Theater. <laughs> I can't believe it. You're as bad as Al. You're worse than Al. He's nothing but a Neanderthal sexist, but at least he doesn't hide it. Hide it? I get a t-shirt that says it. I never thought I would say this, but Stephen Rhodes, under that sensitive, caring facade, you're nothing but a... a man. That's not true. <laughs> oh, hi there, Marcy. Peggy, do you know what is going on underneath your very own roof? Well, we're rotting our lives away, but the kids seem to enjoy it. Not that. Our husbands have been ogling the repair girl. That's repair woman. Oh, Marcy, calm down. Men will look at anything. <laughs> By the way, Marcy, what are you doing tonight? I don't know. Steve and I were going to go to a fundraiser for my women's group. But since I think he'd be spending the whole evening looking up the Toastmaster's dress... <laughs> Steve, I'm going home now. You? You can put a little mirror on your shoes and go downtown for secretary lunchtime. <laughs> oh, Mars, come on. So I stared at a hiney. Does that make me a bad guy? So, uh, Al... You were staring at that girl, too, huh? Yeah. I bet she had great legs. Yeah. Good breasts? Oh, yeah. You want to go upstairs? Yeah. Wait a minute. With you? Oh, yeah. 